Um, when designing your motorsport line of products, why are spherical bearings used over bushings? Um, good question. Uh, a spherical bearing is a component where it's a metal on metal interface, essentially. Oh, here we go. We got one here. Um, and so these uh, rod ends, uh, you can see that there's a, I mean, it's a rod end looking up, but it's in all our products. This is actually a spherical here that's held in with a circlip into a machined bore. But uh, there is a very tight, highly toleranced fit between the inner ball and, and the outer housing. And this ball happens to be Teflon lined, uh, which is a, a nice feature that uh, the Agora bearings that, that we use have. And there's zero slop, zero compliance. So that means if, if one unit of force acts on the center of this, exactly one unit of force is transferred to, to the assembly. And that's, that's what you want in a motorsport or racing application where you want suspension uh, forces to act directly on the components, eventually directly on the tire. Um, yeah, that's actually a really easy way to, to visualize it is the, the tire kick test. You go up to a, oh, stock, a stock like Audi stock front end. Um, kick the tire. Kick the tire. You'll see it move and bounce back and forth, you know, upwards of an inch if you get a good yeah. kick on you, you know, break your foot. Um, so that's, and that's, that's happening, you know, all the time as you're driving. Those, those wheels are just kind of, Trying to, to to meet that balance of comfort and quiet and yeah. and compromise um, around all the the inputs you're giving it and what the road's giving it back, uh, you know, and, and in a motorsport application or in a more ref, more tightly controlled um, requirement, you you need to get rid of that movement. And to do that, you've got to remove the the softer bushings, the rubber pieces, the anything that's allowed to deflect when it encounters a a force. Yeah, I mean it's it's just slop. Yep. Um, the the rubber and the bushings, um, like Nate said, they, they add comfort, um, but but they take away from the performance. And something has to give. I mean, everything can't be like metal to metal in a car. Right. But in a race car, you can get much closer to that. And so that's why we do it for the, for our motorsport line of products. Um, now, in our Dynamic Plus products, we do use bushings. Uh, now they're stiffer. And so you could consider our Dynamic Plus products a more performance optimized product uh, that still has a lot of the comfort and NVH characteristics of the factory parts, but better better performance. Not not as good as the, the fully motorsport spherical option, but but better. And that's that's a worthwhile compromise to make on a street car. Uh, speaking of which, this is a new product we just released last week. This is the rear upper control arm for um, basically all the R567. We're releasing this, right? So we used to have those. I'm, yeah, we, we did have this. Um, but our, our, our the product we've had on the market for a while has our density rubber bushing on the inside here. And so we removed that for anyone looking for a motorsport option. This, this product basically allows you to generate more camber in, in the rear tires, as well as uh, eliminating any compliance or deflection of any kind. So again, um, if, if you have three degrees of camber, uh, regardless of what forces hit the tire, this arm is going to maintain three degrees of camber. It's not going to change. Where a rubber bushing could go from three to two to one, so it could bounce all around, which is you know what Nate was describing with the tire kicked. So, Put this put this on on the rear with some of our other spherical parts, and you kick the tire, and you know the only thing you'll feel compressing is the rubber of the tire. So these are in stock, ready to ship. Um, I think we released them last week. So. And, and we have two versions. So if if NVH is a concern for you, then definitely you know get get the one with the with the uh, the rubber bushing. You know the density rubber bushing. Yeah, it's a density bushing. And, and we're eliminating rubber in the rest of the arm. So it's still a great performing part, but you will be able to get that camber and um, those kind of high frequency vibrations and sounds will be dampened by the rubber bushing. So those won't you know go directly into your, your frame or your chassis. 